Hey everyone, welcome back to Optimize Ebony. I want to do a video in between these events because uh, as it, it was, I think, two events ago, we have uh, my new favorite event, which is the Wheel of Civilization, the good one, basically where you can get some spins for free uh, and you can you can get some some good uh, conquest and supremacy fragments. Uh, so I wanted to actually kind of dive into what the specific costs are of, of getting, getting, uh, equipment from, from this wheel, uh, versus elsewhere. Uh, but before we get into that, I uh, just wanted to talk about, uh, some of the other things that are going on. There's tactic researching, um, and, that's that's kind of the main thing other than the general portrait uh, again is back so uh, i actually cashed in last time i got a good general that i wanted uh, but not quite the general that i needed uh, i'm looking at the general hall too because that's mostly what i'm in interested in i still have a bunch of general hall two uh, generals that i actually need to to unlock some of those buffs uh, but let's take a look at the chances that you can get for this event. So uh, you can see that the these top four have an increased chance, uh, which is Simeon, Leo, uh, Yeon, uh, and Lotaro. Uh, and I'm kind of glad that I cashed in last time because I have the top three of these. Uh, this one is the one that I actually got last time when I opened it. So I was, I was kind of happy about that because he's pretty difficult to get and um, I needed him for, for general hall too. So uh, the only one that I would, that I actually still need is Lotaro. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to, I mean, I don't have enough tokens anymore. I'll have to save up for many events now to, to get back to 500. Uh, but uh I'm not going to waste it when I have, you know, a, a much smaller chance of, of getting someone that I actually need. Uh, but yeah, uh, other than that, there's the kind of guaranteed ones that you can get here. Simeon and uh, Serena are reduced price of so 400 tokens. And then uh, Zhao and Leo the third are 500 uh, tokens here. So yeah, uh, if, if that's interesting to you, uh, cash those in. Otherwise, uh, if you're like me and you're waiting to get the the General Hall 2 Historic Generals, uh, you can you can wait until the, uh, the odds are kind of in your favor for, for these generals here. Um, so let's actually get back to what I actually want to talk about, which is the Wheel of Civilization and kind of breaking down the odds and stuff like that to actually get a, uh, to get these, to unlock these, these uh, equipment. So uh, if you're like me and you have, let's take a look real quick. You have 25% uh, really want to unlock this bow. Uh, it's going to help my buffs quite a bit. I have five more fragments. I do have two fragments here sitting sitting here, ready to to open up uh, when when I get to five fragments. Um, uh, just a side note, I would recommend not opening these these chests until you need to, um, just in case something else, something new, something better comes comes out. Particularly if you don't have a lot of the fragments to begin with. So, for example, uh, for the conquest ones, I don't have a lot that I'm looking for. These ones I already have. This one I already have, um, and this one uh, is not a particularly useful uh, piece of gear. So, I'm kind of just waiting to see. Once once I get to 30, I'll I'll pick up you know maybe one of the debuff gear, or maybe one of the bourbon uh, set. Uh, or, you know, actually finally getting the Abbas helmet uh, to put on my Archer General. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I, I don't really think I need... I have a lot of the other cheaper versions here. Um, 
I'm kind of just waiting to see when they're going to release or let us claim some of the new ones. So, for example, like the the new Siege gear, I would pick up the, the ring uh, from that to uh, be able to have a little bit uh, more flexibility there. Maybe set up two generals, one for T11 Siege and one for uh, Big Siege. But uh, in general, uh, and one of my alliance mates did this where he he basically claimed the wrong equipment from from this and so he had to try and talk to cs and see if they would give him some of his fragments back uh, but yeah in general don't don't open these until you until you for sure have you know exactly what you're what you're looking for um but yeah uh i do really like this this event because it does give you the chance to get some of those fragments uh we kind of looked in in last time i think on the specific things so really uh i'll break this down a little bit further but these these events are a three-day event and so for each day you get one spin for free one spin for five coins and then 10 spins for 70 coins um so total over the three days you you can get a total of 43 spins for free and so if we look into that, that will give you two of the conquest gear here, uh, fragments here, but it won't get you to this next level here. Um, and then basically to actually buy these, you have the option of the $100 pack, uh, which will give you basically a thousand coins. Or if you double down, that'll give you uh, 2000 coins. Um, so which basically is 200 spins, I believe. Um, and then this is 100 uh, coins or 200 if you double it. So that'll give you 20 spins. Um, and so uh, it's actually the same ratio here. Uh, it's just 10 times. So it actually is is not too bad to buy the, the $10 pack instead of the $100 pack. Really, the main difference with the $100 pack is you're getting this this general um, and you know some some of these other things here. But uh, really, what you're mostly concerned about is the the coins here. So let's actually dive in and look at some of the percentages. Uh, and I'll I'll sh kind of share this uh, spreadsheet that I've been working on. Um, so actually, before we get into this, let me talk through. Uh, the different ways to actually get the get the uh, the fragments. So um, basically, you can get the fragments from spinning on the wheel. So that's just pure luck. You can also get it from the spinning rewards. So all the way up to 2,000 times here, uh, you can get those rewards. Um, and uh, and then yeah, uh, then there's one other way here. So basically, each each time you spin 147 times, uh, the the uh, supremacy scroll fragment is guaranteed the next time. So that means that essentially, at at a maximum, you will get one supremacy fragment every 147, 148 times you're uh you're spinning the wheel which is a lot but at least there is some guaranteed uh some guaranteed thing here i actually got super lucky i rolled a supremacy fragment on my first one didn't spend a, a cent and i got one there um but uh now now we're kind of ready to go into the actual uh calculations here um so let's let's look at this so uh as I mentioned before, you get 47 spins for free. Uh, and then I basically uh, went down and and calculated uh, basically the optimal way to get mostly optimizing for supremacy fragments. And then uh, in, the, in the far right column here, I basically give a cost per supremacy fragment uh, so you can kind of judge what what amount of spending makes sense 
for you to get the uh, the most bang for your buck. So the the first is the number of spins is 103. Uh, you get zero for free from those 147 uh, spin guaranteeing the, the next one is going to be supremacy. Um, but this, if you use, there's three days uh, in the event, so you can do three double drops. Um, and so basically this is going to give you, uh, if you do three of the of the $10 pack, you're going to get 60 uh 60 spins there plus the 43 spins for free will give you a total of 103 spins you'll get one of the supremacy uh fragments and four of the um of the conquest uh fragments at least you can you can get some by luck but i'm i'm not i'm not worried about luck in this in this chart this is strictly for uh what you're guaranteed so this will give you one supremacy fragment, uh, which will give you basically a $30 per supremacy fragment here. Uh, and basically, if you look down, this is going to be the best price per supremacy fragment that you're going to get uh, is $30 per, per supremacy fragment. Um, then basically, as you go up, uh, even if you spend spend $153, you then will get one spin, uh, one supremacy frag fragment for uh, basically just getting to that 148th spin. Um, you'll have spent $80, and you'll still get that one from from opening the spinning uh, progress box, uh, which is a total of two, and then uh, that'll that'll give you 40. Uh, forty dollars per supremacy fragment. So you can kind of look down here and see. Okay, as you as you go up, for the most part, it gets a little bit worse and then a little bit better. Um, and this is optimizing for uh, for the double drops, making the most sense, right? Getting the most amount of bang for your buck. So with the first one, it's it's three times doubling on the ten dollar pack uh, on the uh, the hundred, it's going to just be doubling on that. Uh, basically, once you're past the the three hundred dollar threshold, it's just uh, doubling down on on the hundred dollar packs. So, uh, yeah, basically, you can get the cheapest for uh, basically just unlocking that that first supremacy scroll. But then, as you go down, it it doesn't get any cheaper and it actually gets significantly more expensive uh, as as you kind of uh, are no longer unlocking quite as many supremacy fragments from the spinning rewards uh, to a total of you know basically it's it's going to average out towards the end towards like 55 to 60 dollars per fragment so really the optimal cost that you can actually get for uh for getting uh, supremacy gear, so this is the super expensive stuff. The stuff that's at the uh, level 10 cake is is going to be just waiting your time and and getting one supremacy fragment, one or you know if if you get lucky as I did, uh, you can get more than one, but at least one uh, per one of these wheel events uh, for thirty dollars. Uh, and if you get, if you're less patient than that, you can you can kind of go go down and and see which which one makes the most sense. If you want to spend, you know, eighty dollars or you know, uh, two hundred dollars, uh, or you know, I, I think here it just makes you just want to look at and see which which price per supremacy fragment threshold makes the most sense, but. If we actually go and and look at some of the calculations, so um, here we have uh, so if we just do thirty thirty dollars per fragment, so if we're t playing the long game and we're just getting one per event uh, times thirty fragments that you need for per piece, this is gonna cost you uh, nine hundred dollars or less, right? Like you can still get lucky and and uh, and get supremacy fragments not for free or, or not guaranteed, 
uh, but this is this is the most that you'll set you'll spend for uh, a full piece of supremacy gear. Granted, it'll take you a long, long time to get there. This is in comparison to the the highest level cake box, which I think is is around like two thousand twenty one hundred uh, dollars. So that's that's a pretty significant savings. Um, uh, on that. So if you're if you're mainly focused on Civ gear, this is kind of the approach that I would take is play the long game here. Uh, bet bet on bet on yourself here. If you're getting held back by by Civ Civ gear weapons, which I feel like I am, uh, spend you know thirty dollars every every two to three weeks on on this event. Uh, and eventually you will get, you'll unlock those, uh, those, the supremacy fragments. And a nice side effect here is that you'll also be getting uh, four, at least four conquest fragments uh, each, each event too. So you'll also be getting, unlocking some of those, those, you know, lower tier coin and gear as well. So that's kind of the best bang for your buck, but let's, I mean, let's, Let's just for uh, for argument's sake, let's say you do two per uh, two per uh, event here. So at the price is forty per uh, per fragment, uh, and that would that increases your your price for the for an entire piece of gear to twelve hundred. So and that's that's kind of the that second lowest amount there so and granted uh, again the more the more that you buy the more likely that it is that you're also getting some some lucky fragments as well uh but this is just again just the guaranteed ones so again this is this is not cheap uh let's go back to just the cheapest one here. This is not super cheap. This is this is more than I think most people expect to sp spend on a game, particularly free to play players. Uh, but this is something that it is going to be drawn out over, let's say, like six months uh, or or even longer. Um, and so this is particularly if you already have some fragments, this could be a, a, a nice way to to uh, to kind of get get some of those additional fragments for for cheap, uh, if not you know a, a few for free as well. So I mean, really, we we all know that ebony is is super expensive, so it's not it still is not cheap. But compared to other events where you can get civ gear, this is still this is still the best gear the best deal you can get for civ gear. It just will take a lot longer for you to actually get that amount um and uh it, you, you won't be i mean you won't be getting like a castle decoration or anything like that with this but this gives you kind of just the bare minimum of of the sift gear there so uh yeah uh let me know what you guys think uh this is this is something that i'm probably going to start doing is is just trying to get those those remaining uh fragments for for that bow piece hopefully i'll be able to unlock it soon i would love to be able to unlock uh the chest piece as well so that i can fully unlock the plantagenets uh uh gear set that's the only one that i'm uh, really close on uh it's but uh you know at least having one one full set unlocked uh, gives you additional buffs with you know the set bonuses and stuff like that. So um, that's that's kind of what I'm shooting for. Let me to go know what you guys think on this. Uh, I still would wish that they they would kind of bring back the uh, you know better better wheel or or just really just make it a l even easier to get at least the conquest uh, fragments for for free because it's it's really I mean two two fragments per event that's going to take that's going to take many months for most people to unlock any of the any of the lower tier gear and i still know that there's some people that are still blocked on uh keep 36 because of the power requirement and civ gear is the 
by far the easiest way to to unlock that. Uh, there's a lot of other ways, dragons, stuff like that. I can do another video on that. But uh, yeah, uh, I do really like this event, so I'm happy that it's back. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully you guys found this this spreadsheet useful. Uh, I was just curious one one day, and I I decided to kind of get get into the the nitty gritty and see how how expensive it actually was to unlock this this civ gear and it's significantly less expensive than it than it is other places uh, but yeah thanks for watching everyone as always please remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video